Oh, here we go again. So, the live-action Cowboy Bebop that nobody asked for is now going to be censoring Faye Valentine because her costume is too problematic. Oh, boy. You know, it's already a bad idea to mess with anime, but now to take one of the best girls and censor her also? Ooh, yeah, that's a mistake. That's a bad mistake. Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So, the live-action cowboy Bebop is apparently going to have some changes made to it. And, uh, you know, live-action series enough as it is. You know, you, you see Hollywood trying to get into the anime market, and then they're trying to, you know, change up anime. You see Netflix here with trying to make a live-action Cowboy Bebop that nobody asked for, nobody wants. Now they're going to be censoring Faye. You know, it's like whenever they got into Death Note. Man, that movie was pure A garbage. Trash. That was horrible. You know, it's like Dragon Ball Evolution, which is another excellent example of just trash. <laughs> just, you know, a dumpster fire. Now, when you look at Alita, Alita was lucky because, you know, when it comes to live action anime adaptations, they don't go well. But Alita is the one that breaks the mold. But, you know, I thought it was very good. But, you know, other cases, yeah, not so lucky. Now, when you look at this article from Nijiman, live action Cowboy Bebop, not a replacement for the original, says executive producer, face costume toned down, smoking less glamorized. You see, there's tons of red flags to me here because, for one, you know, Cowboy Bebop is a fantastic series. And now to make a live action of this, yeah, that's already going to be a terrible idea. I do not think this is a good idea. And nobody asked for this. You know, nobody wanted this. Nobody asked for this. And now here they are coming out with this. And now here they're going to start censoring some things. And Faye herself, you know, her costume, that's a part of the character. And to censor that, oh, that, that's, that's already a bad thing. That's not good. Not good at all. And, you know, I think this is going to be a disaster. Executive producer and writer Javier Grillo Marzach has addressed fan concerns that Netflix live action adaptation of Cowboy Bebop might be unfaithful to the original anime. Oh, I can guarantee you it's going to be unfaithful. 100% guaranteed. During an interview with Gizmodo, Grillo Marzach explained how the Netflix adaptation of Cowboy Bebop would be unfaithful to the original anime. The new series is meant to add to canon rather than try to replace the anime series with Grillo Marzach saying, we don't want the fans of the show to look at it in a way that we failed them or we failed the original. Oh, the fans already see it that way, you know. And when you look at it, nobody wanted this live action series. You know, we already had the anime. The anime is fantastic. I mean, one of my favorite anime of all time 26 episodes, tells the whole story, has excellent characters, great action. I mean, you know, it's a series that has stood the test of time. It is brilliant. If anybody watching this has never seen it, I highly recommend it because it is a fantastic anime. But, you know, thing of it is, is that, oh, they want to change it. They want to censor things, you know. They listen to the Puritans over on Woke Twitter, you know. That's who they listen to. They don't listen to the actual fans, you know. They listen to the ones that are screaming nonsense on woke Twitter all the time. That's what they're doing. You know, they don't care about what the real fans think, you know, because they listen to the Puritans instead that they expect, oh, well, they're going to support it, which the Puritans, they never support anything they scream about. We already know that. Now, this is what was stated here. Grillo Marzach then went on to explain his philosophy for writing the show's episodes. You got a show where you have 26 episodes that are full of very colorful villains, very colorful stories, very colorful adversaries, bounties, and all of that. We're not going to go one-on-one -on, -one on all of the stories because we're also trying to tell a broader story of Spike Spiegel and Syndicate, Spike Spiegel and Julia, Spike Spiegel and Vicious, and all that. But we are looking at the show and saying... Who are some of the great villains in this show, and how can we put them into this, into this broader narrative? So, that we are telling both of the big stories that Cowboy Bebop tells. Some changes from the anime were revealed, however. Faye's revealing out, but will be toned down. We need to have a real human being wearing that, Grillo Marzach explains. 
While character smoke, in Gizmodo's words, the habit may be a bit less glamorized to reflect modern sensibilities. So here's the big thing. Faye, as a character, the costume makes the character. But clearly, they don't see that. You know, clearly, they gotta change things because the way that Faye looks, because she's an attractive female character, you know, this is their mentality on it. Sexy woman bad! You know, that's how they see it. You know, and the thing is, is that, you know, when you look at it, you know, these people say that, oh, we're all for equality, you know, and then it comes to female characters where they got to cover them up, you know, because, oh, that's too much. We can't do that. We can't show that off. But if it comes to a male character, oh, it's totally different. If a male character shows off skin, oh, no, that's perfectly fine. No, that's normal. That's okay. You know, that's acceptable. But if it comes to a female character, if they were to show off too much ankle, then, oh, no, it's the worst thing ever. It's a crime. You know, that's the way they see it. The Puritans don't stand for equality as they say they do because this is not equality from the way that they go about it. And, you know, the big thing is, is that, if a woman back in the day dressed up like Faye, you know, if they were to cosplay, that would be seen as empowering, you know, a brave and bold move. Nowadays, it's seen as offensive. Oh, no. You know, like they just get so butthurt over stupid stuff. You know, it's absolutely ridiculous. And they always go on social media and scream about something pointless. It's how these Puritans work. It's how they are. Grillo Mirage pushed back on the outrage some had towards the creative team being largely white and male you know here's the thing not a single person that is normal thought about that only these puritans thought about this stuff they're the only ones who go around screaming on twatter <laughs> oh man so so what is uh what's uh your writing staff looking like you know uh what about the camera guy you know what about other people that work in their costumes and wardrobes you know what's their nationality thing of it is who cares? The only people that care are those Puritans that go screaming on Twitter all the time. They're the only ones that care. And then companies look at this and they think these are the real fans. And then, of course, they let them dictate everything. And then they have to make changes so that they don't offend the woke Twitter crowd. You know, that's exactly what happens here. You know, like, it's ridiculous stuff. Grillo Mirage also stated, in Gizmodo's words, the show has been committed to diversity in front of the camera. Spike Spiegel has to be Asian. Like, you can't Scarlett Johansson that shit. Grillo Mirage explained, We are making a show that takes place in a future that is multicultural, that is extraordinarily integrated, and where those things are the norm. So here's the thing about this, is that John Cho seems like a cool Spike Spiegel. I could see him being Spike, but the thing is, they don't have to make Spike be Asian, but I think that John Cho would be very good because I do think he's a good actor. But there is nothing that states that they have to make him Asian. You see what I mean? Like, but here's the big thing: is that when it comes to this, you know, with the censorship and all the things that they're doing here, you know, this sounds like a disaster to me. <laughs> you know, they're listening to woke Twitter. You know, they're caving to them. You know, and this is a big thing that companies do: is that they listen to woke Twitter and then they're like. Oh man, we, you know, we can't defend these people. We got to do this right like they want it. And they try to think that the minority, which is woke Twitter, they think that they are the actual fans when in reality they're not. You know, and they think that they'll get the most money that way when they don't support anything they complain about. You know, that's the big thing here. And you know, there's also no reason to censor what Faye wears. No reason at all, but you know, they don't want to make woke Twitter mad. You know, that's the reason why they're doing this. And so they were like, oh, well, we got to cover her up. When you've seen so many cosplayers that do so many characters so much better, I mean, when you look at these two women that cosplay here, like this one, for example, that cosplay as Faye, I mean, she looks like a brilliant Faye. Absolutely gorgeous. And I think that she did a fantastic job. And another one here that also was Faye, you know, just completely making it look excellent. You know, if Japan was in charge of this live action series, right, say if they were the ones doing it, this is what Faye would look like. They would stick her to the original outfit. They would make her look like Faye. You know, that's what she would look like. But, you know, you got woke Twitter over here. And when you see American entertainment and as far down as it's continued to go, you know, within the most recent years, it has continued to spiral. It has continued to get more and more political. And it's been absolutely frustrating. And then, of course, now you see other outlets like today, for example, where... You see Screen Rant coming out saying, Netflix is live action, Cowboy Bebop, Faye, costume changes, I'm 
good thing. So now you're seeing the Puritan media, you know, jump in on this as well. And, you know, trying to encourage, oh, this is great, this is fantastic. And so, you know, <laughs> no surprise that they would do this. Netflix's Cowboy Bebop has opened up about which aspects of the series are getting modern updates. And Faye's iconic costume is set to change. Which, there's no reason for it. There's no reason for this change. Not a single reason at all. And then, of course, you know, you go further into the article. This is where it states, Netflix is changing an iconic aspect of Cowboy Bebop for their live-action series, Faye's Costume. Cowboy Bebop is one of the most popular and beloved anime of all time, but the news that a live-action series is being produced for Netflix left many fans with pause over whether the original can be improved and what iconic details can be changed. Um, nobody was even wanting this. You know, everybody loves the original for what it is. There's no improvements to be made. You know, there's no modern changes to be made. Everything's fine the way it is. I mean, this is just crap, and we all know it. Because there's no reason to change it. You know, it's like the old saying goes, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. And there was never anything wrong with Cowboy Bebop, so there was no reason to make this live-action show. I mean, I'm just saying. In the case of Faye's revealing costume, however, the change is a good thing. Oh, good lord. You know, one of those whole arguments of, she's too revealing, it's so insensitive. <laughs> you know, it's ridiculous. This article continued to go on stating, this change is actually beneficial for the character, since Faye is by no means a sexual character, despite how sexualized her outfit is. She's someone who's intentionally shown to not be engaged in romance throughout the series, despite theories that Faye is in love with Spike. In the anime, Faye's gracious look is meant to be a way to distract her targets while she covers for her own lack of self. Sticking to that original costume and live-action version sends a mixed message, especially when the new series is ultimately interested in exploring other aspects of Faye's character. How does it send a mixed message? Not only do I question how it sends a mixed message, but at the same time, um, you know, they explored her character very well. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I mean, what? That's ridiculous. The new series will also have hour-long episodes as opposed to the anime's half-hour installments, which allows for a lot more opportunities to dig deeper into Faye's character. I mean, everybody was fine with their character the way it was, so what more is there to really dig into when they fully, you know, explored her character? She had a lot of depth, like, you know, Spike as well as Jet. I mean... Like, come on, you know, she was very well explored as a character. Like, what does there really need to be to add to her? Hopefully, the new Cowboy Bebop will keep the same color scheme for Faye's costume as they take her look in a different direction. You know, why don't you just keep the same look? Oh, right, that goes against what they stand for. That goes against the Puritans, right? <laughs> right, because, you know, modern stuff, they, they can't do it, you know. They can't stand it. They can't stand a sexy woman, right? Regardless, costumes and hairstyles are an element of adaptations that viewers expect to be changed. There are much more important details to be concerned about, and as long as the version of Faye rings true, it's really not important how she dresses. All things considered, it sounds like it's going to be the same Cowboy Bebop at the end of the day. No, it won't. No, this will not be the same Cowboy Bebop. This is going to be nothing but a butchering, and this is going to be <laughs> nothing but failure. I just feel like this is going to be a trash fire, and I don't think that there's any reason at all that this should exist, personally. This is just me, but I'd just say stick to the anime. The anime is beautiful, it's excellent, wonderful characters, and, you know, I don't think there was any reason for this live-action series to exist. And in my opinion, I just feel like this live-action Cowboy Bebop is going to be nothing more than a trash fire going forward. But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And make sure you are still subscribed because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you are still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like and also be sure to share the video on social media. Spread the word and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated and it really helps out the channel a lot. Also, be sure to follow me on Discord. We have a wonderful community there. Not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the newest videos will be released as well as any other upcoming events in the near future. So be sure to follow me on Discord. The link is in the description down below. But anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.